लेफ्ट राइट इधर सामने देखिए इट इज सो एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डिनरी फॉर अ डिजाइनर टू यू नो सी सच ग्रेट इनक्रेडिबल पीसेस विच आर लाइक लिटरली लाइक मास्टर पीसेस एंड बोथ इन ट्रेडिशनल फॉर्म ऑफ ज्वेलरी एज वेल एज इन वॉट इज कॉल्ड अवंगार्ड और मॉडर्न फॉर्म ऑफ ज्वेलरी सो आई आई फील ऑनर्ड एंड वेरी हैप्पी टू बी हेयर टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ द रिटेल ज्वेलरी अवार्ड्स विच आर हैपनिंग फॉर द सेवनटीन टाइम and how serious they are about it and an impact they have there will be five finalists which we will uh, as jury choose today and they have i think about a 20 categories of prizes or awards which can go on to make a very big impression and help set pace for the future talent in this industry uh, so i'm talking about the criteria of judging what is the criteria of judging in this you know so one of the best things i've seen when i've judged many events including sometimes prime events like miss india or mr world international what is the best part of a jewelry uh, judging here is they don't put any labels so i can't be influenced to be honest i'm as innocent as any other bystander right now because i've literally had no premonition that i will be doing this so i'm i'm a judge who didn't know i will walk into a jury so i have nobody who can make a call to me and say hey you're doing the jewelry awards tomorrow we heard can you make sure my collection so no sometimes you do tend to get calls like that but here they have no names i have no idea whose product it is i cannot be influenced and i myself was so secretly taken there today that i had no idea i was going to be doing that i thought i was doing a press release today Yes. You know, I by personally, I love jewelry, but I used to wear it to weddings and occasions, and I stopped wearing it at in day-to-day -day life. But today, not just in India, if you go across the whole world, even with a pair of shorts or casual, people are going to wear one chain. Then there's a fashion of another double-layered chain or a third layer, and then they're wearing a lot of that Van Cleef apparel looking. you know chain there's a lot of jewelry they're wearing on the hands like rings have become such a trend ear fashion and of course if you go into fashion design which is where i want to go in there is crazy headgear as accessories which i think will be the future of fashion for of jewelry forecast soon it will be a wearable thing uh, can, can we say that jewelry is a women's appearance yeah Hundred percent. You didn't see me without it before the earrings. <laughs> you should have seen it. It totally changes, especially Indian Asian face. Men were also wearing jewelry, you know, in that old and period. It, you know, it enhanced our features. It reflected on our faces. How do you think the 
How do you feel that the United has evolved uh, in your... How has the... How, how do you feel that the United has evolved in Oh, the trends have greatly changed. So, you know, when I started shopping for Julius to save all my money as a young girl to buy old heritage pieces. But I feel foolish today because in hindsight, because today the modern recreations of the old techniques are so ahead of the curve that one almost wonders why did we bother buying something so old because the new which looks like old is fantastic jewelry has made a huge leap in india there is so much talent there is so many surprises in design like how i mean your eyes literally pop out that we did it and it's accessible it's available so it's it's phenomenal the jewelry boom i think Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, see, now with modern trends, you get also remakes. You have lab grown diamonds today. You will also have. Uh, um, jewelry which looks like costume is part plated it doesn't have to be so heavy on your costing but it can give you the look of real so they're both schools of uh, jewelry but yes we like to wear it it adorns the body it enhances your beauty and yes it's still a must-have jewelry the trends are important they have to be forecasted so when we play jewelry in awards like this you know we end up creating trends for the next season and those become then worn and translated into uh, remakes or uh, easier on the pocket and the trends are formed like that thank you so much thank you Basically, whatever I've seen inside, I extremely like the uniqueness and the intricate design that they have done. I come from the south, so I extremely like the uh, art, the craftsmanship that they have done, and um, yeah, that's what I like about it. So you can see actually what right now what I'm wearing is from inside. Though it's quite heavy, but still it has its own style. It kind of brings out the story of its own, so that's what my whole story is what you can see right now that I'm wearing, so yeah. Thank you. Is there a question here? Yeah. Yeah. We have a press release huh. regarding this the event. Yeah. The exhibition is fantastic. Yeah, this, what is the exhibition award? How do you manage the award? 
there is no award right now, right? No, yeah. Judging. yeah, this is judging. See the jewelry which has been displayed here. This is exquisite. Uh, I think you know. I mean, after a long time, I have seen this kind of jewelry. And during COVID, you know, I mean, everything was shut. And I believe, you know, I mean, there were. I have seen one once. Uh, you know, somebody was telling me that a lot of jewellery designer, the workers, were going back during the COVID. But I'm so happy that they have come back with a new enthusiasm and uh, they have started making new sort of jewelries. And I'm sure the designers were also occupied these last two years sitting at home making new designs. And uh, today uh, we have seen those designs which we have never seen before. So as a woman, I am extremely happy to be here and judge, you know, this uh, jewelries. I'm sure it will be difficult, but still we have to do our, you know, job as a judge. But I'm sure we will be more than happy to do it. I, am, I will be more than happy to do it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry? See, uh, jewelry is totally a uh, individual's choice. Making up a jewelry, like my choice, will be totally different from other women. And uh, I like gold jewelry, and I have seen a lot of them displaying over there. And I'm sure I will go for that. And. Uh, Whoever, I mean, this is my choice. I will definitely put on, you know, my favorite choice over there. And that I'm not too sure, and we are not supposed to disclose also at this moment. Thank you. Fantastic piece you're wearing. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Take care. Thanks. What do you have to say? So I'm very excited for the Retail Jeweler India Awards. I think that it's a great initiative to give um, designers more incentive to design innovative jewelry and um, you know, take, take the innovation in the diamond industry forwards. Uh, so I'm very happy to be on the jury for such a prestigious event. I think primarily for me, because I come from an art background, uh, the criteria is aesthetics, it's design. Uh, at least for me, when I was looking at all the pieces and judging, I was focusing more on how visually beautiful it was and how it looks and feels, and especially when worn, you know, how, how, how the, that impact or statement of the jewelry comes across. So I think aesthetic was the primary criteria for me. Um, I think that any kind of jewelry that's different and unique in statement, um, jewelry that, that has, uh, you know, pops of color or different shapes, so a variety of shapes and, you know, just anything that, that stands out because it's unique in its design. It's, and, it's, uh, last, last question, basically, what kind of favorite jewelry you wear? Um, so I really like Jadav. I like traditional Indian classical Jadav jewelry. I think it looks really good, especially even with Western attire. I think it's a statement. Um, so Jadav is my personal favorite, and I love, I love necklaces. Necklaces, chokers are my are my personal favorite. Thank you.
I can't hear you well. Sorry. I'm really excited because I just saw few. I'm really excited because uh, I just uh, had glimpses of beautiful designs and it's um, I'm amazed to see like how many different categories and uh, variations are there especially like colors because when we talk about diamonds we think about only white white and uh, you know uh, silver but uh, I see here so many colors are there I think uh, this is the pandemic effect because we all wants to see a lot of colors and uh, still I have to see in detail uh, and I'm excited uh, about this. Uh, talking about the jewelry which you uh, have seen in size which is your personal favorite? Still, I have to choose my personal favorite because I want to go in depth and see in details. But, uh, you know, because so many variations are there, so it's not easy to choose right away. Okay, usually in India, especially uh, the ancestors used to be there. I think traditional jewelry is in fashion. In fact, before you know, it was like this is South Indian jewelry, this is Maharashtrian jewelry, or we used to specify. But nowadays, I think everyone wants to wear everything. You know, like especially uh, I have seen beautiful uh, temple jewelry inside, and uh, I think now it's in trend. More like lot of NRI clients they want to wear temple jewelry so it's not very specific but of course I feel that traditional uh, things will be always in trend maybe we will uh, uh, modify and modernize little bit here and there but I think uh, especially personally if, uh, uh, for myself I, I choose you know uh, traditional uh, jewelries are always uh, you know amazing Can I do I need to lean forward or no? This is fine. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, tell us about the detailed jewelry in India. About uh, what is it all about and how excited are you for this? Mm. These have been conducted for 17 years now, and um, I look forward to it year on year, judging it in every capacity. Uh, every year they show a huge uh, leap forward in uh, design, in form, in quality, in execution, in uh, the stones that are used, the materials that are used, and uh, getting very um, unique in their own way, not just in the international way, but in their own way. And uh, I pick up a lot of pieces from here, actually. What I'm wearing here on my neck today, I bought them uh, years ago from here when I judged uh, an event. They were actually earrings, but uh, they were so heavy as earrings that I converted them into a necklace. 
Uh, even my bracelet, let me show it to you today, is from one of the vendors here. Uh, so I can't recommend it uh, more highly. I so look forward. Uh, Ma'am, talking about the criteria of judging, what, what are the criteria of judging? Uh, criteria of judging according to me are many things. I'm looking at uh, quality, I'm looking at execution, design element, uniqueness, I'm looking at being smart about using what you have for even making it look more than it is. Sometimes you want to present things, you want to make it a gift, you want to spend less, you want to make it look more. I'm looking at um, um, something that you feel, look at and feel like I absolutely have to have. Uh, I am looking at um, uh, stones and things which are not otherwise available. Um, I'm not looking at more of the same. I'm not looking at uh, replication. Uh, these are some of the things that uh, come to mind. And as we have, as we have seen the show inside, and so what, about, what were your personal I've just come in. I've seen very few things. I still have to go forward to take a look at uh, uh, the rest of it, but whatever I've seen so far is showing all of these elements which I just mentioned right now. I think the jewelers are very well aware of that and tapping into that uh, excellently. Thank you. Thank you.